Really? We went there. <laughs> yeah. Your wife's Did you see the pictures from there? Yeah, super, so cool. super sexy. So cool. But man, going into the classroom and it's just those yeah. bright white lights. Oh. And I'm sitting in this little desk and I'm just like instantly like, uh, uh, like I gotta go to class again. This is horrible. Yeah, it's that feeling that, I mean, there's that bridge that Gert and I would walk over Every and, day. and it was winter and we risk Oh. breaking our our hip bones and our our backs every single day <laughs> trying to get over it safely and then this this intersection right here where we almost got t-boned by that vehicle yep. but god literally hit the back of our car out of the way that guy right here me and gert for the longest time <laughs> yep. walking to university mills which is no longer called that it's now the quarters, the, the quarters. Oh, I remember when you gosh. slipped on the ice right here. right there <laughs> yeah it was icy the whole way <laughs> <laughs> Almost get back. Did you oh, say about Hamish? Don't even have class. Right then. there. In our old apartment. Yeah, right there's our old place. A yeah, um, Shine. I just bought hammocks. Yeah. I, yeah. Awesome. I just miss it. This place. So many memories so here, dude. So many. Yeah. So many so memories. Many, so many. So many. This is where uh, many of the life changes happened. Yeah. P90X for the first time. Uh, all on two. All on two. Yeah. Moving in that door right there when it was like 175 degrees outside. Oh Seeing a UFO in the clouds up here. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. And this is where we seen the the UFO over there too. Or is that what you're over talking there, about? Yeah. Well, okay. The light. Over the so dome. the one that I'm talking about, I saw during the middle of the day. I was actually making something in the microwave by the window, and I saw something glimmering in my out the window. So I looked up there. So I looked up in this area here, and there was a silver disc just hovering in the sky, and the sunlight was reflecting. And then it just went and just vanished wow. out of thin air. But then, so we're looking over in this area more above the uni dome. We would walk down this road, which I'm not sure if that's even a road anymore. And we were walking down a road over here. We saw this diamond formation yep. above Cedar Falls. It wasn't above the uni dome, but it was just above the city of Cedar yeah. Falls. Yeah. And red yep, just red, red lights, lights, one at the top, one at the bottom and two on each side. And they all individually just dispersed slowly, and then it just were gone. Gone. Yep. Just gone. So it was just a flare, but flares aren't red, I don't typically. No, and flares don't stationary. make the formation of yeah. a yeah. stationary diamond. Yeah. And then we found a pair of Oakley, or Seth found a pair of Oakley sunglasses here yep. that I ended up selling online last year for $125. <laughs> I go there Saturdays are for the boys. <laughs> all I think of is Trudley's uh, video. Saturdays are for the boys. Or, uh, who wants some man meat? I do. I do, Michael. <laughs> My man meat you shall have. <laughs> <laughs> and then also another good story. Uh, Gert and I are driving back from going for a jog. And the Unidome's right here. And this big parking lot, a tornado touches down. Yeah. Literally as Gert and I are driving by. But we have no idea. It ends up damaging the Unidome. And... Gert and I pull into our complex and there's a police officer literally screaming at people to get inside and seek shelter. Yeah, that's right. And we're like, dude, everyone's freaking out. So we get out and we're like, we hear people, there's a tornado right down there. And so we just got inside our building as fast as we could to get away from all of that. And we found out later that we literally had a tornado touchdown right next to the car. I had no idea. Yeah. So this is Strayerwood Theater. One, it has a history of being haunted. Oh yeah. But two, that's where I had the greatest college class experience of my entire life. It was an acting class, and it was with this frizzy, red-haired old oh, woman. This road is closed. Yeah, I, for, I forgot about that. Yeah, this road here used to be open, and when I was here a year or more, just over a year ago, I noticed it was closed too. I was like, what the heck? All right. Well, See, look at this class life, dropping off the daughter or the friend. Yeah, why would you close that road? Doesn't make sense. You and I, everybody, the University of Northern Iowa. A lot of memories here. Oh boy. A lot of bad memories here, I tell you. Like when I got denied my graduation. Yeah. Oof. I just like to think about the, the good times. And... Yeah, it's coming through here with the cousins. Yep. <laughs>
about to turn it on. Playing that video, or, uh, making that video with DJ and those guys after we... Awkward interviews? Yep, yep. Insert awkward interview clip here. This is on. This is really a heartbreaking story. It's really tough for me. What what exactly happened? My mom. Your mom did what? She she did what? Did what did she do to you? Put hot dogs. Hot dogs. Pull people hot dogs. This too. No. Hey, how you doing? Isn't this with the home of the water dragons? I, um. Yeah. Some squirrels, some bugs, some birds. Taco Bell, Dairy Queen, and Burger King. Eat one, sit in one, throw it in your grandma's face. What do you pick? What was the other option? You're Burger absolutely King? wrong. You're a communist. I'll see oh. you later. Okay. Okay. Lost Island Water Park. Now, what if I were to tell you that I am Batman? No, I wouldn't believe it. You believe I'm Batman? Okay, I'll see you later. Bye. Excuse me! You find me attractive. Thank you. What's your name? Answer the question. Excuse me! Where are you guys heading? Okay. Ivy, what are you getting there? Okay, I'm sorry. Drive safe. What flavor is it? Can I try yeah. it? Toss it! Pizza! I'm really trying to implement a little bit more of like our original content Heck yeah. into my videos. Like this week's video has uh, mine, Joel's, and Ben's rap song, Don't Wanna Leave, yes. featured in it. And I'm gonna start featuring some of my songs as long as they don't have a copyrighted beat, something I think I can get away with. How much did it suck to be a student? Oh boy. If you're a student right now, I just wanna give you a shout out and an apology that you have to be a student right now. Unless you love school, because I know there's, there's people out there that love school. Yeah. That's weird to me. Just do good at it. And yeah, sure just you do, your, do your thing. Doing what you want. Yeah. You if, you have, get out. if you have a desire to do something different. Oh, he got a parking ticket. Bro, you got a parking ticket. <laughs> like, oh. The infamous you and I parking ticket. You can literally not go day in class unless you have a parking permit without getting a parking ticket. Again, this is the bridge where Gert and I risked our life daily. So if you don't know, this is what's up. Even on keto, you open that bad boy and all these toppings, that pepperoni and that cheese, mm -hmm. all mine, baby. So I didn't really preface this earlier when I was filming, but we are in the Waterloo Cedar Falls area. We're here to film for Squatch, Iowa for the like the last big investigation because this is where I had my very first experience with Bigfoot. We're sitting outside of this Little Caesars here and literally in a couple months from now, 10 years ago, I had got a job here and I worked like two or three shifts. One shift, I actually dressed up as a Little Caesars guy and I stood out on that corner out here and pretty much every single person that drove by just flipped me off because they thought it was funny. And then when I actually worked inside making the pizzas or cooking the pizzas, we were so busy and it was so hot because it was in the middle of June. It was 110 degrees in our kitchen and I had to work by the oven cutting the pizzas and boxing the pizzas. So you put the heat of the oven with that, it was probably 125 degrees and we were literally not allowed to get a drink of water. And so for an eight hour shift, I got in like 10 seconds to get a drink of water and then it was back to the oven to continue cutting pizzas. Funny thing about that, is that as I was cutting the pizzas, I was sweating so profusely that sweat was just running off my head and dripping on everybody's pizzas. <laughs> but we were so busy that I didn't even I didn't even care because I needed to get pizzas cut and boxed and, and handed out so that we can move on to the next. So to all those people in the Cedar Valley that got sweat-filled pizza from me, you're welcome. You're gonna have a letter in the mail from Little Caesars Corporate soon. <laughs> You can sponsor me too. I mean, I'm good with that. I just spit something straight out of this mouth. <laughs> no idea what that was. Just like thin, except your sweat. It's true. I'm spitting things. And body fluids. Body fluids all over the pizza. Um, yeah, so we're heading out to get some B-roll shots and to film in that same exact region where we have experienced Bigfoot before. Just to clarify as well, this man here is Dan Gert. He's actually never been featured in one of my videos before. And he is my my best friend from high school. And uh, at this point, we are coming quickly upon knowing each other for 20 years, which is insanity. 20 years. That's finally, crazy. finally my, my favorite gets to be on a video. This will not be the last time. You'll see him in another upcoming video here soon, but we're not gonna talk about what that's all about yet. Dan Gert, also known, mostly known as Gert. Let's get to the squatchiness and let's get to the pizza eating. We made it to the spot, which I guess is called Katoski Greenbelt. 
Yes. Never took note of that before. Probably because it's Katoski Greenbelt. Here we go, Katoski Greenbelt. As you can see, it's fairly open, but it's still it's fairly dense at the same time. It'll be more dense once uh, the vegetation shows up after spring gets itself in gear. And there's Seth with his fancy camera. Yeah. Ooh, that is some, that's pretty gooey. That is, look at that tree. What knocked this tree over? Mother nature or a squatch? Let's climb it. Ooh, I need to be wearing my headband for this. I'm gonna fall. So I need to make sure I have my headband so that you guys can go on these crazy adventures as I scale up this tree so I can use my hands. Cause I'm a bit of a, it's a squirrel, I guess. Is that, bears climb trees pretty easily. Squirrels do too. So I guess that's what you'd call me, a squirrel. Just... <laughs> shot. Oh yeah. I just gotta get these woods cause how beautiful the lighting is right now. Yeah. The shadows. Oh yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's Uncle Cole. Between when uh, we went to the haunted house and now, they must have put out an update. And of course, I didn't check before I came here. Oh. I had to download 122 meg update, so it's like 70% done. <laughs> Big boy toys. Yeah, once that gets all downloaded and stuff, we can put it up in the air. And I just want to see what it looks like and see if I can see the trail. Because mm -hmm. if I can see the trail with the way the sun's coming, it'd be pretty friggin' sweet to see you guys walking. Yes. I yeah. come across like this, and you can see, oh, dude. see why you're walking into the woods. Dude, you should have saw it. There's about every window was busted out of it. Dude, it was in bad um, shape. Spray painted just all yeah, over the place. Yeah, someone feet. really like went to town in there. So right where these semis are parked, it used to be this amazing Waterloo Greyhound Park. And I'll, I'll post a picture or if I can get a video of it, um, I'll post it right here. This is Breakaway Action with Beth Delagardell. And now the entire thing has been torn down and it's, the there's still, there's still some remnants. Oh my gosh, they still have the sign. Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Please don't ever tear that down. <laughs> so, so anyways, that's, that's what we went through the woods that we're gonna be hunting tonight to get to. We, it was completely abandoned and we'd go in there and hang out and just chill. And then we headed back into those woods again and that's when we ended up having the Bigfoot experience. But now there's like this massive gas station across the road with the Wendy's and it's all gone. I would trade the Wendy's and gas station to have that back any day. We're gonna have to silence this because of copyrights, thanks to YouTube. Yeah, jeez. So what are we doing with these, Seth? Boom tat. What about I need it? it for tonight. It makes us more adventurous. One of those, too. Cole got his pimp, pimp cane. 
Okay, so Cole's chosen the pimp cane. Seth's chosen the brimmed hat. Sure. And I've chosen my brimmed hat. And, and Gert's just pooping. So. Yeah, so. That's nice. That's nice. An Impala. This one is yeah, it's a Camaro. Camaro? Firebird? Camaro. Probably a Firebird. A Dodge Viper. Ooh, yeah, the old uh, project car. That's a 57 Chevy because of the fin on the back. Another Dodge Viper, that's nice. Very nice selection. Got some Harleys. That's a nice one. That's strange. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Can, I, can I film y'all? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, so we're here at Love's, and we got some paranormal fans. More, I think this one here, because she's bright red right now. <laughs> she's super bright red. And so we gave her all the info to Facebook oh and YouTube. I am cool now. And uh, so we got some, we got some believers. But we're not doing the ghost stuff tonight. We're doing the Bigfoot stuff. So. Oh my gosh, guys. Yeah. I'm going on right now. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you very much. You're Have welcome. a great night. Yes. Thank you. So it's we dark. To the trail that we started We're all geared up. There, but there. Got cameras there if you can see it. So we're literally minutes out from heading into these woods to see what we can find. Alright. We're ready. Um, Let's do this. We haven't did the We haven't finished the evening yet. That's true. Hello. Can you see me? Yeah. So it's 12 o'clock. We have wrapped up, at least at this point, the investigation of the woods that we are in. We got some pretty cool stuff, but overall it was more confusing than anything, which is kind of interesting, being that the last time that we were really out there doing a hunt was really confusing as well. Um, so we came to another spot uh, that we used to come to just to hang out and chill, um, where actually large rocks were chucked at us um, and like thrown into water. And uh, that's another thing that Bigfoots are known to do. And the woods are connected to this same area. So I just chugged an energy drink, ate some pork rinds, which by the way, if you've never had dill pickle pork rinds, and if you've never had salt and vinegar pork rinds, pause the video, like it first so it's in your history, and go to the store and buy some because, and then also, you got to have that Rockstar Exdurance Energy. My favorite is Super Sour Green Apple. Rockstar, still waiting to hear from you, so holla at your boy. So yeah, we're going to head on this bike trail now yeah. after we warm up because it's chilly out there. Let's see if we can not find some other stuff. So it's the same, same area, same, tra same trail. Whoop, hold up. Oh, this is completely real. Yes, it is. This was all this wide open. All wide open we were here there's none of this is here yeah just literally it was just the rock there's a stream over there is the river yep and there was just massive rocks being chucked yeah from that over across the other side into that water yeah this is wide open completely it's wide open because i always thought it was a really cool view yeah exactly it's been several years since we've been here so which with the size of the trees, seems about right. Yeah. I'm gonna have to go up and view the the spot as we oh, yeah. admired so deeply. Wow. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Make sure there's no homeless up here. I'm gonna go up the center here and take a gander at the traffic.
Yeah, I remember running across the, the lanes. Remember laying on the road? Yes. Absolutely. Oh my goodness, the sneaky poop feeling is so real right now. <laughs> Makes me wonder how many times we've passed by people doing this in the dark and we have no clue. <laughs> They're not us, so I don't know. Exactly. Yeah! Little And there's our cue. <laughs> oh shoot, yep. Oh, shoot. I'm right here. This is where I'm gonna be. Get that blood pumping. Yeah, they just pooped their pants. <laughs> we made it home, 3.30, and I'm exhausted been up for pretty close to 24 hours. It's a good day, some good uh, activity tonight, worthy of being in the documentary. One day, just reminiscing with, with friends and my bro and uh, our old stomping grounds, and uh, I'm exhausted, and I'm ready for some sleep. So, remember, it is all knee, and no foot. Is that what he says, radio edit? Brawler. No, he says brawler. Yeah. Brawler. But then there's also radio edit. <laughs> <laughs>